a number of papers have shown that uh, people with gout have reduced survival, and that's been reported to be due to a number of causes, cardiovascular disease, chronic kidney disease, but also certain cancers. And a key question that's been debated a lot is if you treat people effectively by lowering the uric acid, does it have an effect on not just getting rid of their gout by getting rid of the crystals, but does it improve their comorbidities and prolong survival? And there's been a number of papers on this where they've been conflicting. Some have found a positive result from allopurinol treatment, whereas others have not found that. So we wanted to investigate that in the Clinical Practice Research Data Link, mm -hmm. which is quite a large general practice database in the UK. And we've already published increased mortality in that database. Mm -hmm. So this was the next step to see if treatment affected that. So, did it? In, it didn't. Not in this, uh, not in this study. And when you look at large databases, there's true of any study really that there's potential confounders and biases that you need to be aware of. Yeah. And the two important ones when you're looking for a treatment effect on a disease in such mm -hmm. a database is firstly confounded by indication. Mm -hmm. And people with gout uh, tend to get allopurinol predominantly if they've got bad gout and mm -hmm. if they've got multiple comorbidities. So they tend to be iller than people who don't get allopurinol. And obviously if you don't take that into account, it can make the potential treatment effect look worse. The opposite is the mortal time bias. And people who get onto allopurinol often get it after many years of having gout. And to get into a treatment group, you already have to have survived for mm -hmm. a time of presentation. And for the purposes of a study, you're immortal. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas that immortality doesn't apply to people who are in the non-treatment group. So that needs adjustment as well. Mm -hmm. And in our study, we, we did adjust the comorbidities using the Charleston index, which has 17 important comorbidities that were examined. And also we used uh, one of the several methods of trying to tackle the mortal time bias issue. And probably because we did do that, we ended up with no specific treatment effects evident. Right, which, which probably not, doesn't mean that allopurinol is not effective, but, but rather that it's not given at the right dose. Is, is that uh, That's really correct? Absolutely right. So we know from the database that uh, the vast majority, more than 9 out of 10 people, get just 300 milligrams or less of allopurinol. And in this day and age, that's insufficient for the vast majority of people in terms of hitting the right target, firstly to get rid of gout crystals, mm -hmm. but also to potentially have an effect on the cardiovascular system. So probably, because of all the problems with large databases that reflect real-life practice, which is often suboptimal, mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, you probably do need a randomised controlled trial where you do treat the target mm -hmm. and give the right treatment to a large number of people and then see if that's better than people don't get it. Right. And, and this is also one of the other messages from your paper that maybe there is a role for rheumatologists in helping GPs to um, achieve the targets for uric acid. Uh, certainly treating to target is, yeah. is an accepted principle in lots yeah. of other inflammatory sure. diseases. Gout's the most common inflammatory joint yeah. disease worldwide. Yeah. It's the only one where you can get rid of the pathogenic agent. Yeah. It's actually very easy to treat the vast majority of people successfully, uh, but it just takes some time to educate the person, the patient, so yeah. they get motivated and they mm -hmm. adhere to the treatment. Yeah. Um, and if you do discuss things with people who get properly, and we've published on this, you give them the full information, mm -hmm. about 100% mm -hmm. want your eight therapy, and adherence is very good mm -hmm. when they're on board and want to take it.